So um, we're very excited to start a new series tonight. Um, we're going to be working through the letter of the first letter of Peter. It was written around 60 AD to the church in Asia Minor, which is uh, modern-day Turkey. These churches were going through hard times and suffering uh, under persecution. And though we have it quite easy here compared to those churches, there's still a lot we can learn from Peter's writings in how we go about living in the day today. The opening part of the, le uh, the letter starts with a poem, and Nicola will be looking at that shortly uh, in the first part of the series. The poem covers a lot of the themes that Peter will go on to expand on through his letter. So after I've finished introducing the series, Peter will be able to introduce his letter in his own words, probably far more eloquently. Um, the series we're working through is called Living Well on the Way Home. So I wanted to quickly talk about what that means. Uh, this letter was written for Gentile Christians, which are non-Jewish Christians. But throughout the letter, you'll see uh, Peter use phrases and descriptions which are used for the Old Testament in the Old Testament for God's people. And he uses them for these new Christians. Peter is trying to communicate the idea that through Jesus, we, the non-Jewish Christians, now belong to the family of Abraham and the family nation of Israel. And like the family nation of Israel, we have passed through water, for them the Red Sea, for us our baptism, and we are now in exile. We are wandering around looking for our true home in the Promised Land. Um, this is why we had the exile theme in our countdown song. If you missed that, it will be on again next month. Um, Peter talks of, of exile um, because we must acknowledge that the communities we live in are predominantly not Christian. So how we choose to live in following Christ may make us stand out as different. Our promised land is of course not the land of milk and honey, but an inheritance that will not fade or perish, in heaven and new creation. Peter reminds us to stand firm in the suffering, because our salvation is assured in Jesus, who also suffered and was killed. We spent a lot of time in our last series thinking about creation and the new creation that's coming. So in this series, we are looking at how we live whilst we wait for that time. How we live in exile, 